Hello friends, welcome. In this video now I'm going to work with uh, roles and permissions for the user. And here I have added uh, two links, but I'm going to remove one because I want to add the roles and permission in one page for the user. So here uh, in the roles we have permission. So in the user we can have you the user details here, down there the role, and after the permissions. Okay. So let's open the VS Code. And first, first we need to create in the users new file, and I'm going to name it uh, show dot. Or we can name role role.blade.php okay in here now i'm going to copy what we have in the edit of roles select all copy and paste it here and also if i go to the permissions edit uh let's copy this here we have the permissions let's copy this and add it down there so let's say here we have the form here we have the roles and down there it's going to be the permissions now let's work one by one we don't need to go or yeah we can say users index to go back and here we don't need the form, so let's remove this and just add the div. We display here the username. And let's copy and duplicate this and display the email of the user and you can display what you want. After that, uh, here now we have ro uh, roles first. Let add first the roles because here is the permissions and here is the roles. Yeah, let's I'm going to cut and paste it right here. The roles now, here is the roles and not permission roles, but we need to say uh, user roles so user. Okay, now uh, the route is going to be users roles remove. That's okay. Next one is going to be admin users roles, and here we need the user ID. We need all the roles here. So, okay. That's it now. Work with permissions. Here is going to be permissions like this. Not role permissions, but select all of them and say user permissions. Okay. Now the route is going to be admin user permissions revoke. Okay. Also here. It's going to be user users permissions and the user ID. Okay, here we need to display all the permissions, and I think we are okay with the uh, blade. Let's go to the web roads and create one by one the uh, routes. So first we need to create this users roles remove and user roles and uh, here we have users destroy let's say road and post users 
slash we need the user here and say roles now here we need the user controller class and the method is going to be assign role or you can name it what you want the name is going to be uh, what we name it here users roles i think This is for the post. Add, copy and duplicate this. And here now we need for delete to remove a role. And we need users roles and the role itself. The method is going to be now remove role. And the name is users roles remove let's copy this and add it here okay next is to create for the permission so let's copy this one and add it down there and instead of roles rename this to be permissions we can say here now uh, give permission okay and user permissions the second one the same thing say permission here permissions we need the permission here and revoke permission revoke permission and the name is going to be so where is the permission users permission and another one is users permissions revoke let's copy this go to the web users permission revoke okay save this and uh, now we have users index and users destroy, but we don't have the users show. So let's create one road. Good. Because right now, if I go to the users here, if I click, we need to go to the users show page or to show the user and add assign roles and permission. So I'm going to say users slash and we need the user here. And uh, the controller is user controller. Class, the method is going to be show. And also the name is going to be users dot show. Let's save this. Uh, let's open the user's index and uh, here when we have roles and permissions let's remove the permissions and say only roles there and the anchor tag add the road to go to the users dot show and we need to add the user here. Dollar sign, user ID. Let's save, come here and refresh. We have only roles. If I click here, now we don't have that show method in the user controller. Let's open the user controller and create that method. So let's create function and the method is show we need the user here and we are going to return the role uh, blade so in here we need the permissions and the 
all the permission and all the roles okay so let's say here dollar sign roles is going to be with the role and import spotty permissions models role all and also the permissions is going to be permissions import the model from spotty and say all and here and return the view which is uh, admin users role and say compact for user so first I'm going to add the user the roles and the permissions let's save this and refresh and yeah now here is the user details down there is the roles of this user has and the permissions and uh, if i go here why we add that let's add this one and this so the bg white uh, cut them and add it in here because i yeah now we are okay and also change this a bit not all index but uh, users index and i think we're okay so here is the username and the user email and let's say here a user name something like this and down there the user email just to see more good here okay now when i click here and uh, assign a new user we need to assign a new role we need to have this method inside the user controller so let's copy the name go to the user controller or let's open the permission controller and copy this assign role and remove role because it's going to be almost the same so copy and in the user controller let's paste in here just inside instead of permissions here we need the user and say user okay and also in here we need to say user now if the user has a role request a role we say a role exists otherwise we assign a role in the request and that's it remove role also here we need the user not the permission and say user and also select all and say user here and the same thing now if we have a role if the user has a role we are going to remove otherwise we are going to return back and say role not exist and save and refresh and i'll see here also we are in the admin and we have role admin and writer if i add also the user and click assign the role assign it and we have also the user okay let's say remove this and we removed now let's work with permissions and i'm going to open the role controller and copy the the give permission and revoke permission here okay in the user controller paste that in and this is this is because i have named in the web the same name so here assign role and the same thing in the permission so assign role okay if you change the name here make sure you updated the name and now instead of the role we need to say user here 
and dot assign user and change the user now if the user has permission we return back otherwise we give permission and the same thing here now not the role here we need the user and the user here and also remove this and say user so if the user has permission we revoke that otherwise we say permission does not exist let's save and check refresh now here we have edit and delete post if i select delete post assign yeah we see here a permission exists and if i select edit post and why is that permission exists we don't see the permission here but uh, if you go to the roles so this user admin user has two roles admin and writer if i go to the role and say the writer here this writer has edit and delete post permissions if i remove them okay and go to the user admin and now if i select edit post assign we assign that okay you see here if we if the user has the role and the role has that permission it's not going to assign here because the user has already that permission so only if the this role does not have the permission you can assign them so also the assign the delete and if i delete i revoke that click ok and we revoke ok friends uh, that's it uh, hope you enjoy and the last one let's uh, also work with delete i think you can do that but just uh, in case let's go to the index where we have the delete admin users destroy we add the user id and delete now in the user controller we need to create the delete destroy method and i'm going to add it here so function and say destroy we need the user here dollar sign user and user and say user delete and return back so or first i'm going to check if if the user is admin if dollar sign user has a role and the role is name admin i'm not i'm going to return back direct i'm going to return back and with message so let's copy this and paste it here with message you are you are admin are admin otherwise we are going to delete that and return back with message user deleted okay let's save come here and refresh let's delete this test user are you sure okay and why we have this you are admin i think we give it admin yeah remove this admin role <laughs> and go to the users and click delete and click ok now we delete it okay friends hope you enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel all the best and see you in the next one thank you very much